Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I just want to talk a little bit about learning practices and memorization in programming, okay? And it could be web development, it could be, you know, any kind of programming or coding. And the reason that I'm making this video, what really prompted me or gave me the idea to do it is because I, I got a comment on one of my videos last week that said brain, Brad's brain is like uh, Wikipedia, which is a very flattering comment to get. I enjoyed reading it. I appreciate it. But it's just simply not true at all. Um, I do so much research and just looking stuff up. I have files and files of snippets that I refer to constantly. This stuff that I, that I do, these almost 600 videos on my channel, courses that I do, it's not all in my head. Um, you know, it's not memorized as far as all the code itself and stuff like that. Like I don't just sit down and start typing up applications. I do a lot of looking stuff up and research. Sometimes it takes me a day or two to figure one thing out. So, um, and I think that's the norm, you know. It, I don't have any factual numbers or anything like that, but from my experience, what I would say is like 97% of, of developers work that way. I think that searching Google and Stack Overflow and sites like that, I think that's a skill in itself. And, and I think that that's part, a big part of the workflow of being a developer. Um, you know, you don't just read one book or watch one course and just and, and, it, and you have it. You have to keep referring to different sources. You have to um, create your own snippets. I would highly recommend having a folder on your either your local machine or maybe like a GitHub gist folder or something like that where you have like a lot of common um, scripts and, and, and pieces of code that you constantly use. One example would be uh, kind of a silly example. When I started learning Node.js and Express, uh, I had a snippet of just a basic Express server, like where you just bring it in, initialize it, create a route, and do app.listen. That silly little snippet I had to refer to for months. And it's not because I didn't get the, understand the code. I did. I memorized, I memorized the, um, the concepts of the code but I couldn't remember the, the exact syntax and the exact characters to, to, to type. Um, and I think that the most important part is remembering the concepts. Now that, that it, it's, it seems ridiculous that I even had to refer to something for that. And that will happen. You will memorize the code, but don't focus so much on that. Focus on knowing and understanding what it's doing and what the concept is. Um, a good quote that I read this morning actually on Reddit when I was doing some research is, I'm probably going to butcher this, but it's something like, if you memorize one path in the forest, you will only get out if you always start and end in the same place. And I think that that's very relevant to coding because you very, very rarely start and end in the same place. You're basically thrown right in the middle of the friggin' forest um, every time. You know, you get these code bases thrown at you that other people wrote. You're using different frameworks. You're using different languages and syntax. So very rarely do you start and finish in the same place. So just memorizing that one piece of code or that one path, it's not going to really help you. You want to understand the entire forest, basically. I know that's kind of a corny metaphor or whatever, but I think it applies really well with, uh, with programming. So, you know, I just wanted to make this video so that people understand that when they watch me or other, other content creators, you know, we, we're doing the same things you guys are. We're, we're still searching our errors. We're still searching um, how to do stuff, how to add stuff to our applications and all that. And of course, being a content creator, I'm constantly doing research because I need to keep learning so that I can keep teaching. Um, but you know, you guys don't get discouraged if you have, if you have to look something up, don't feel like, you know, this isn't for you or your mind isn't capable of doing what other people do. So if you're memorizing, um, concepts, like let's, let's take a loop, for example, or a conditional, something simple, um, just about every programming language has these and they all basically work the same. Now the syntax is different, like a loop in JavaScript is different than a, a loop in Ruby, which is a completely different language. It's not even a, a C syntax language. Um, but the fundamentals of the loop are the same. So it's easier when you learn your first language, it's easier to learn your second because you already know these basic things. 
Um, I actually thought about creating a course on just programming in general, no, no language, just the basic control structures. And that's how people learn four, five, six languages, which when you're starting out seems insane. Like you could never do that. Like this guy's a god, he knows seven languages. But basically they're all the same, except the syntax is different, which you can easily look up. Um, now, some languages are obviously harder than others because some are, you know, statically typed. Some are more low level where you need to you need to actually write more code to to um, integrate with the system. Some are higher level and, and easier. Um, but, you know, the, the core control structures and things like that are the same. Even with frameworks with like React and Angular, if if. I shouldn't say React because it doesn't really have its own library, its own HTTP library, but like Fetch, like the Fetch API, if you know how to use that, it's very easy to learn Axios because it's, it's basically the same thing. It's just the syntax is a little different, but you understand what it's doing and the fundamentals. All right, so um, another thing is, is learning tutorials, courses. Those are very important. Obviously, that's how I make my living. Um, but it's not all there is to learning. It's, it's one, I think it's one half um, because it's guided and you're watching someone else do it, you're following along, you're learning the basics, but what you're not getting is, is you diving in and, and thinking critically, um, doing your own searches and stuff like that. So what I, what I recommend is when you take these courses and these tutorials, to take the concepts, remember, memorize the concepts, not necessarily the, the, the exact code, and take that and build something else with those concepts. And if you're not at that level yet, then at least maybe add to it. So if you have a course where you create like a real estate app that lists houses or whatever, like a React or an Express app, something like that, maybe you could add a Google map listing to each, each entry, each house. Um, I think that's a good example of you getting in and getting your hands dirty without watching a tutorial. You know, you'll be digging through the Google API docs and doing stuff that real programmers do. Uh, it can be very aggravating. Sometimes it can take, you know, hours or even days to, to find the answer. Um, but that's that's this industry, really. It's It's not all smooth tutorials. You know, that's why I like to leave a lot of my mistakes in my courses and tutorials because I, I think it's more real life than just a cookie cutter, clean, you know, perfectly done tutorial. Um, so that would be my recommendation for learning. And that's what I do. If people are wondering why I have or how I have so many videos on different frameworks and stuff like that, that's how I learn. I, I'll look at a, um, the documentation usually first and then watch a tutorial or read a blog post or article, uh, maybe take a course or part of a course, and I'll take those concepts and I'll build something on my own from it, and then I'll do a video on it, all right? So it's never just just the tutorial and then copying it or something. It's, it's making it my own, and I think that's the best way to learn. I think that's what's going to benefit you guys the most. Um, but that's really it. I just wanted to kind of do a quick video um, as a lot of you know, I, I was in the process of moving where we are pretty much settled now. I got my, my office space, which I may do a tour of soon. Um, but you know, I will be pumping out the tutorials more and let me know if you guys like this type of format where I'm just kind of, you know, talking off the top of my head. I'm usually a little more scripted with slideshows and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know. I figured I'd try something different. Um, so let me know if you like it. If you do like the video, please leave it a like. And, um, you know, if you're not subscribed and, and you like this type of stuff, please consider subscribing. And that's it. Thanks, guys.